and actually find out what is the landing cost. Because as of today, the cost of the price of crude is quite possible that there's even no subsidy. If you eliminate the corruption, you eliminate the rent seeking. So the, what the government wants to do is to make sure that corruption, rent seeking, and opaqueness is removed from template, and then we know exactly where we are. And that's what the president said. As of now, he has been assured by PPRA and NNPC that fuel can still sell at 87. Can but it, why it's can't it be sold lower? Well, you see, there are many factors that will depend, you know, that will determine what price. Um, the, the only reason why I believe that we, you know, it's, it's been sold at 87 now, and that probably I might be even know, that might, I'm not sure, there might be no element of subsidy, is because of the low cost of crude. Because the simple, the single most important ingredient in PMS is the crude. Now, if the crude sells for 38, you know, dollars, and of course you add, you know, transportation, you add insurance, you add all this and that. But I do not think that it's realistically given the template that they can sell for less than 80 some right now. But it's taken seven months, Al Haji. I mean, seven months to find out whether or not there is subsidy or not. This government, I mean, the, when this government was in opposition, they were very clear that, you know, there should be no subsidy. In fact, by now, we shouldn't be talking about subsidies. Why is it that it's taken seven months and we're still not clear as to how much subsidy we're really given or whether or not, you know, there's any subsidy at all? But you see, it is true that we've been in government for seven months. But when you talk about, you know, the, the this petroleum, you have little or no control as a country. It's a very volatile, you know, uh, market. And factors other than yours, other than those that, you know, uh, um, that you have control over will affect how, your, how you get your PMS. As long as you don't have your refineries working, you are going to be subjected to a lot of blackmail. For instance, I know for a fact that no vessel, no, none of the independent marketers, the big ones, actually bring their vessels into Nigeria. They take them to Togo because they claim that the currency of transaction for the business should be in dollars. And Nigeria said, no, the official currency here is Naira. So you can imagine when they now bring their, they, they bring their vessels to Togo, from there we have to now bring them to Nigeria. So there are many things that are beyond your control in trying to get the correct price of, uh, of fuel. But we've, we, we have been assured by PPRE and DPR that they would ensure that the rent seeking in the, uh, in the, in, 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 in the business Oh. I still think that policies inimical to the people should be uh, done away with by government. If uh, that is one of the reasons about the currency denomination or currency usage in the country and we allow them to bath somewhere in Togo, then uh, they, they should have a rethink. For instance, the, the, the issue of the jerry can we highlighted. Uh, are they saying that the man who runs a barbing shop or the vulcanizer who comes with this four liter jerry can, or the individual who has come with maybe 50 liters of jerry can to power his generator at home so he can have a good yuletide, you know, is the one who is going to die that. So one thought that some of this, I'm coming, Elijah, he one who would have thought that the war room should have seen that these are not the people uh, that are the causes of the problem. Slaman, believe me, believe me, there's no way you will know whether the man with the four liters is going to resell or not or whether the Okada writer is going to sell it. I know for a fact that in times of uh, uh, scarcity, everybody becomes a retailer. People go to petrol station, take uh, a fuel in their tanks, and go back and resell. Because, because but, it's not but, available. But believe me, the key is availability. The government is working towards making the product available. And how are we doing this? One, we are working to secure the pipelines. Two, we are working to restream our refineries. We are working to, 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 to restructure both PPRA, PPPRA and DPR and ensure that they really are able to uh, you know, affect compliance. 
and of course there's also the issue of supply so this is what the government is working, is working on and believe me in a very short time we believe that this will be you know within of the okay. past let me bring you one more thing before we wrap up this CBN's forex policy. In fact, we don't know what to call it anymore. There's a lot of confusion out there. There are many who have traveled out there who, before they traveled, they thought that they could at least spend $1,000 with their cards, maybe the uh, debit cards, Nigeria bank cards. But on getting there, after the transaction, they discover that the, the limit has changed. You know, it just keeps changing. Some, some don't even know. How much are you allowed to travel with? Is it $5,000 cash? Is it 10000 Many get to the airports, they tell, you know, if you have 5,000, above that you can't. So, a lot of confusion going on. All these policies, do you get feedback from the people in terms of what exactly they feel or the reason why those policies are brought in? Is it addressing those challenges? What's going on? Of course, we do get feedback from the people. I mean, we, we, we even also, we live, we live in the same society as you live. I remember... You that, you? And that's so no, wrong. You don't I, listen no, don't to what people to. are saying. And I remember my daughter sent me a text saying that, you know, she could not, that, that she could no longer use her, you know, Naira card and things like that. And we, this mother came up. See, the real issue actually, I think, has to do with the fact that over the years we had been addicted to only one source of revenue, the crude. Now, it's been, it's been the only source of foreign exchange for us. 70% of our foreign exchange was from crude. Now, this same crude was selling for $100 a few months ago. It's now selling for $38. Now, sometimes in, in 2013, Senegal governor said, at the end of the month, from the sale of crude, he had $3.3 billion excess. Last month, he had only $700 billion. So you can this, this is a real cost. But, I, I, but to show you that we are not unaware and we are not insensitive to it, the president also said he was aware and that he has been assured by the central bank government that he's going to re-examine the, uh, the, 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 the management of his foreign exchange policy. Don't forget again that to quite some extent, the CBN has a lot of independence in matters that have to do with their monetary uh, policies. But the real problem is this real source of foreign exchange. And you can see from this year's budget, we have the bulk of our revenue is not from all revenue. It's from none all revenue. Small fact, I think we're expecting only about 820 billion naira from oil revenue. Well, we're expecting 1.4 trillion naira from non oil revenue and another 1.51 trillion naira from independent sources. So we have begun to win ourselves from this dependence on oil. And if you look at our budget again, it's heavier on infrastructure. And if you, if you invest in infrastructure, it helps you also diversify into area of agriculture and also uh, solid mineral. And we can see also we provide about 500 billion naira for social intervention. This will also allow a lot of spending and will allow, uh, will reflect the economy. All right, then that's uh, where we have to let it go today. Thank you for coming in. Uh, Lajilai Mohammed is the Minister of Information. And again, compliments of the season. Thank you very much. All right, then we'll be back. We've got uh, more coming your way in just a moment. Just hang on. Hang on. You don't want to miss it. We'll be back. <laughs>